Technology for people who have disabilities is very small in terms of a market. Normally when we introduce a new product in the community, um, the mainstream community does not, the mainstream audience does not hear about it. They will use, in order to hear about this sort of thing, you'll have to go to specialist websites such as the American Foundation for the Blind's Access World, uh, bi-monthly, um, bi-monthly magazine, or you can go to the specialized uh, manufacturers of this equip the manufacturers of this specialized equipment, such as Humanware or Freedom Scientific. The trouble is that most people have never even heard of these companies, and they've never heard, consequently, of the technology that's out there. Um, a lot of people who are newly identified as having a reading disability oftentimes are in the dark, or a disability of any kind, are in the dark as to how to help them. Particularly like, for example, if you've been fully sighted your entire life and all of a sudden your vision starts to go, um, and you're an older person who may not be up on technology, period. I think this is very seriously going to start taking a turn. Lately I've been talking about the Intel Reader, and for those of you who do not know what it is, it is a device that allows people with uh, low vision such as myself, or people with total blindness, to easily read printed materials simply by taking their picture and having it read back to them. This is um, really nice. Not so much because of the technology. See, for us, the technology is not necessarily, it's, um, it's old hat, but it's new in the sense that it's portable in a self-contained unit. They also have a competing device, the $1,500 KNFB Reader. Both devices do the same thing. So for us, this technology is not new. For some, in the mainstream audience, optical character recognition might not be new, but what is new is how it could help a person who has a print disability. Intel has actually changed all this, I think, because Intel is the first mainstream technology company. They make computer chips, as everybody knows, to actually take it upon themselves to develop a device for the adaptive technology community. And this was not kept in the dark at all. Um, yes, this was on uh, Straight Talk About Vision Loss, which the National Federation of the Blind puts up on their YouTube channel. But what interested me was it was shown at CES, okay? It, and a, a piece of adaptive technology was shown at a mainstream technology conference. Now, normally, again, when we introduce something, um, you have to look to the manufacturers, you have to look to the AFB Access World magazine, or you can attend our specialist conventions, uh, CSUN, ATIA. If you're in the United Kingdom, Site Village is one of them. But to see a piece of adaptive technology at CSUN, or at um, CES, that was very... I, I just think that's fantastic. Not so much for the technology, but the fact that it's coming out into the open. A lot of people without a disability and people who do not... Not only don't... They don't have a disability themselves, but they don't know anybody who has a disability. Um, it, they don't even know that this stuff exists. So, a mainstream, you know, computer TV, um, for those of you who do not, who watch computer TV, you know what I'm talking about. Computer TV was at CES, and they actually interviewed Intel about their new reader. Walt Mossberg, I kid you not, Walt Mossberg, who, for those of you who do not know, is the personal technology columnist for the Wall Street Journal. He's really big in the tech community for the mainstream technology segment, he even got a chance to look at it. Okay, And I just think that um, putting adapt technology, adaptive technology out into the mainstream um, is very important because this would all, I think this is going to, this is going to help to break, help continue, help to break down barriers of perception. Because a lot of times, an employer, for instance, excuse me for a second. Okay, good. I just had to check my cursor real quick. Um, 
many employers um, will think, oh, if he can't see this, he can't do the job. You know, you can't see your manual for, you know, something you have to do for your work. You can't read it. Well, I think that bringing, having a mainstream technology company take it upon themselves to develop a piece of adaptive technology for people who have disabilities and bring it out into the forefront, having the mainstream tech community actually look at it. Uh, Bauer's reaction from Computer TV at CES, he thought it was very cool. And a lot of people, once they see the dev these this type of technology in action, they're like, whoa, that is so cool, you know, that that can help you. Um, I just like, I just, I'm, I'm just incredibly happy that this is happening, that um, the mainstream technology community is actually looking at the Intel reader. This is the first case I've seen of this actually happening. Now, understand that, um, um, Members of the community have, as I understand it, Stevie Wonder was at CES last year. But I have yet, I had yet to hear about a piece of technology that we would use actually being at CES. Usually what happens is that we're there, we take a look at the mainstream devices, and we'll see, hmm, how can we improve this? How can we make it accessible? You know, get in there and give our opinions. This is the first time I've actually seen of an adaptive technology device actually being shown at CES and reviewed by the mainstream technology journalists. Like I said before, I think this is going to help to, to break down barriers because a lot of the mainstream tech journalists, you know, a lot of people may not understand about the adaptive technology that's out there. If more mainstream journalists were to actually give our technology a shot and more mainstream manufacturers took it upon themselves to work with us to, to, um, to develop said technology, um, voice over on the iPhone and iPod touch from Apple notwithstanding, I do think that, you know, the, I just think that it would make things, um, this is just my, my view, but I think it would make things better, you know, um, what's your take on it? Thank you for watching, comments and questions are welcome, and have a nice day.